it celebrates, reflects, commemorates and responds to 25 years of South Africa's democracy from the 28th of February to the 15th of April. That's a group exhibition by five South African photographers which is conceptualized and initiated by renowned visual artist Zanelim Mholi who invited four photographers who have shaped and changed her visual life. Now two of the five Lens Women award-winning photographer Neo Nzuma and uh, social documentary photographer Ruth Modau join me now to tell us more about uh, Yiti Laba. Ladies, a very good morning and welcome. Good morning. Now I'm going to start with you. Tell us about uh, Yiti Laba, what, this is, what is this about and tell us, uh, take us through the inspiration behind it. The inspiration came when Zanelli decided that it was time that we showcase our work as a collective, which is something that resonated with, with uh, the plan that I already had, you know, at some point when I co-authored a book on women photography in South Africa, which was um, commissioned by the Department of Arts and Culture. And I felt like there were the race imbalance in the book, you know, in terms of contributors, it was really alarming in terms of, um, we knew, there was no enough images photographed by black female photographers instead, mm -hmm. you know, for instance. And my wish was like, we have to come together and showcase our work so that people can see what we are also capable of doing. Okay. So Yiti Laba as a, as, a, as a collective exhibition, it's a brilliant idea because it gives us that platform to show the world and, and South Africa, first in South Africa, that we are here and this is us, Yiti okay. Laba. We can do it just like people have thought that we couldn't. Right. Here we are, we are showcasing what we've been doing all the, the, the past 25 years. But then to get a sense that your work is uh, welcome and embraced just simply because you are a woman or simply because of the quality of your work? My work is, um, is embraced for the technical effort that I put into it, oh. including the content. Okay. Because there was a need when I started photography that there was not enough positive images of, of, of black people in yeah. mainstream media. Yeah. And I didn't want to just be known as a black female who can take pictures. Sure. You know, I wanted my work to really be exceptional. My work to not only to educate, but also to be, to be, to be, to be appreciated for, for, for what it was oh, yes. in terms of the technique, because photography is an art. And I didn't want people to just give me praises based on the fact that I'm a woman and it was a rare thing at the side, it was a rare side at the side, you know, you know like at a time. And I really wanted to show the world, yeah. not only South Africa, but the world, that African women, we've been portrayed by other people for many years. And it's our time that we do that. And I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it the right way and on an international can. level. Yeah, because yes. you can. Because oh, Ruth, I can. what's the significance of the title Yiti Laba, This Is Us? Who are you referring to? Yiti Laba, um, that's in Zulu, but and in English it says, um, this is us. Um, I mean, this is an initiative by Zanele, who thought, okay, um, as she said, like, she invited four photographers that inspired her visually to come and represent the, every, every, every individual's work, you know, through the lens. Mm -hmm. So who are, uh, who are the other photographers and what do they have in common? I think uh, we, we, the, the first one is Lindela Kampi, uh, Benny Seal, Neon Zoma, yep. uh, myself and Zanele. So is there a common thread amongst these photographers? No, there isn't. Is there? Um, I, I, come, I come from a background of a social documentary. Mm. And I, I also come... Uh, from a background of being a, working for a newspaper. Okay. So working at the newspaper, covering stories, I realized that, you know, uh, sometimes newspapers doesn't do justice to what one wants to portray. Mm, yes. And that's why I decided to be um, a voice for the voiceless. Yes, yes. Now, now uh, what are some of the issues or the themes that are encapsulated in this exhibition and why are they worth zooming into? Why should we sit up and listen? I think it's um, issues of identity more than anything. Um, the collective, each and every photographer there has touched on the right to be in a way. Although our practice is different, you know, we have like Ruth who is a social you know, documentary photographer. I'm a photojournalist, but I can also shoot 
studio work. So my work, okay. my collection is more like your studio portraits, but with a strong sense of self, of uh, self-identity, self-expression. And um, like Ruth said, like the voice, to be the voice, uh, the voice for the voiceless, for the voiceless because yeah. Zanelia represents her collection. It's about it's about uh, uh, primarily the black lesbian community in South Africa, which for for many years they were scrapped out of like you know mainstream media. You could not see any visuals, you know, representing that. And um, she decided to take it upon herself, which I really, really, really applaud her for that because she was brave when she started. No one has attempted to do that. It was, a t it was taboo, yeah. you know, to even come out and say, I'm lesbian, I'm gay, I'm whatever. But Zanelle tackled issues that were sensitive, okay. you know. And then um, we have images that, um, are, you know, they advocate a social ill yeah. of one way or the other. We yes. don't have much time, unfortunately, but uh, right. I would like the both of you to respond to this. I mean, uh, what's the best way, in your opinion, to uh, reflect and embrace 25 years of democracy? I'm going to start with you now, just briefly. Pictures, to ah. show that we are here. Okay. And this is us. These are the people that have been taking pictures. People didn't know that we are the people that, some of the people that have been taking pictures of the 25, like, you know, within the 25 um, years of South African democracy. Some right. of them are women and they are black. All right. So now, this Ruth is, yeah. Neil believes that pictures are the best way to, uh, res uh, to reflect and commemorate yeah. South Africa's democracy. What's yes. your opinion? I also believe that because I'm yes. a photographer. Okay. Uh, if you can read, I think images makes perfect sense for you to just, you know, connect with visuals. Okay. Ladies, please continue being an inspiration. Thank you Thank so much you. for coming to, to us. Thank you. Sure. Now, award-winning photographer Neon Zuma and uh, social documentary photographer Ruth Modau are five of uh, South, Africa, uh, South African photographers whose works are part of a group exhibition titled Yiti Laba, meaning This Is Us. Well, this exhibition is aimed at celebrating, at reflecting, commemorating and responding to South Africa's uh, uh, 25 years of South Africa's democracy. Uh, it takes place from the 28th of February to the 15th of April.